Twisted Chamber is explicit and contains details of a graphic nature. Hello inmates and welcome to Twisted Chamber. I'm Natasha. I'm Kat. Hello. Hey buddy. How's morning. things? Good morning. Good. <laughs> <laughs> today oh, is the morning. It's like the breakfast show of spooks today. <laughs> I just, I hate them. I hate mornings. I am I not a morning person. I am in oh. prep. Everyone on YouTube, I have my Harry Potter mug. Yes. Full of coffee. Man. <laughs> I might add. I yeah. cannot go. Oh, okay. I've had no coffee. I'm just on water because I'm still fasting. So I'm just on pure H2O this morning. You're crazy. I don't get it's it. Okay. It's all right. I don't think it's right. <laughs> I'm like that guy from Friends. I don't think it's Friends. right. <laughs> no. That guy from Friends. Morning is here. Morning is here. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is you. I could not fast at all. Oh, hello. Hi, Dot. Everyone, Dot says hello. She is right <laughs> here. Anyone listening? Uh, we have not been out this morning yet because we had to set up. So yes. she might be she might be a little needy today. Oh, bless her. It's okay. She's mm. too cute. So she's allowed to be needy. Well, it's all right. right. She's allowed. I mean, she's scary and spooky. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this is Twisted Chamber. The she's chamber a terrifying dog. dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's the kind of dog that would rescue you in a scary movie. I feel she's like she's so she would... vicious. She. <laughs> this is oh. like pure aggression right here. Pure, pure aggression. aggression. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh man. Oh dear. So, how's your week been so far? It's been busy. I've been really okay. busy. I've been preoccupied. We have, yeah, we've just done a lot of things throughout the week and work has been pretty busy, which is nice. Yes. Uh, hopefully Dot won't ruin my background today. Hopefully not. Uh, <laughs> as she gets involved. Uh, but yeah, how was your week? Yeah, I've been super busy. I've not been finishing work early. I think yesterday was the first time I actually finished before six o'clock for ages. Oh, I feel dude. like it's I've hard, just isn't been it? Working. Yeah. Our job yeah. just doesn't have a nine to five kind of timeline, does it? You know? No, it doesn't. No. Like, the amount love... of times we get off at 10 o'clock at night and go I home know. to have dinner, yeah. and everyone's yeah. like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. What am I supposed to do? I know, I know. It's when people are like, oh, did you watch such and such at eight? No, because I was waxing someone's vagina at eight o'clock at night. <laughs> so no, I wasn't watching that. I was waxing someone's vagina. Uh, you know, it needs to be done. <laughs> it does need and to that's be done. What we're, that's what we're here for, because there's nothing worse. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I know. can't handle any type of body hair. I struggle. I know. Yeah. Well, this is it's this like, is why I'm it, I'm employed. <laughs> well, hair grows. Hair this grows, is why we are does. employed. One hundred percent. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. We you would know, definitely. <laughs> Sorry. I wonder what our past lives would have been. Right? Would we have been hair a hairdresser and a beautician? I think I believe that I was royalty. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> was she royalty? No, I wasn't royalty. I think I was a healer or a witch or something. I've got to have been something like that. I always say that. Uh, 100%. Oh, dear. Oh, She's oh done she it. did. She's she done did. It. She's done it right now. Okay. Yep. It's but hey, we're gonna cat we're sets gonna roll come with down it. again. Slightly. Hey different everyone, are you time. ready to see my pajamas on YouTube? Yes. Are you so ready for this? Let's do it. We got half. We got half. I, I got Dumbo today. Got Dumbo PJs on. We have half 
PJs and half a hoodie. I love it. It's okay. Things happen in showbiz, this in the podcast is, world. Oh, now we're in showbiz, are we? The things well, you, you say. Know. <laughs> Natasha, the manager. <laughs> showbiz life. It's okay. Yep. That's right. We're real. We're we're all about it. <laughs> yes, we are. We are. All about this realness. Yes. It's great. It's great. So I've been listening to a podcast this week uh as a have you podcaster yes um it is called the paranormal avenue podcast um it's hosted by a lady called anna um Ooh. and yet yeah, she has sent us her trailer so guys have a little listen and see what you think hi my name is anna and i am your autonomous neighborhood assistant and ai for the neighborhood here on the Paranormal Avenue. Although I can be scary at times, you'll be glad I'm here to hold your hand in the dark from things much scarier than me. If you have a story to share, please do. You may email us at paranormalavenuepodcast at gmail.com. Maybe you too will find you have a place here in our neighborhood. Now, don't you dare forget to subscribe and like, or I just might decide to visit you in your sleep. Uh, you can find uh, her show on all listening platforms, so go and have a little listen and give her a click. I don't know about you, but that voice was proper creepy for me. Kiddies, childlike yeah. voice. No, thank it's you. It's scary, isn't it? Yes, yes. I can't yes, wait to go great. and have a listen, though. No, I know. you. I think you'll enjoy it, which is good. Yeah, but Anna's lovely. So, yeah, go and run across and give her a little listen and tell her that Twisted Chamber sent you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. dear. So uh, what do you have in store for me today? Well, like I said last week, I said I was going to do uh, more of like a Reddit thing. Uh, yes. But unfortunately, we have had some issues with my iPad, as you know. Yes. Uh, I still can't get Reddit on my iPad. I don't know why that is, uh, but I am uh, technology impaired. <laughs> <laughs> okay? It's a real disease, and people really suffer. Yes. Okay? Um, so I had to go on to my notes, and we have a news story today. So I'm not doing Exciting. the ones in the woods uh, it will come eventually. I'll get it okay. fixed. But okay, perfect. Until that time, yes. Uh, today we're going to talk about the torture and murder of Kelly Ann Bates. As well, oh okay, about. oh okay. So okay. it's going to be pretty graphic for this morning. Uh, just warning you. Hey, okay. can you please stop biting me. That'd be great. <laughs> wanna... Doc gives you kisses this morning. Yeah, she's she just wants attention. That's all. Go on then. Go. Uh, Kellyanne Bates from uh, Hat Hatterley Hatserley, okay, Greater Manchester, was a strong, sporty girl who had uh, wanted to be a teacher. Right. So this is a young young girl. Mm. Um, she was at college. And worked for a graphics firm when she got a little bit, bit older. Uh, but at 14, while babysitting for a friend, Kelly Ann met James Smith. Now, we all know <laughs> that everything goes wrong from here, right? Yes, of course it does. Smith began grooming Kelly Ann soon after meeting her which was so secretive that her parents knew nothing about him for two years. Wow. Two years, dude. Could you imagine hiding that? That's that, so bad. I, this is, that screams trouble. Like It screams yeah. trouble. And I've not even told you the age gap yet. Oh, really? Okay. I'm not even, like, I'm trying to settle this down right now because it's horrific. And I kill okay. someone. Okay. I would kill someone. If anyone yeah. walked into my house with my kid, I'd kill him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. It would be no questions. 
get oh the hell God. out. I'm going to kill yes. you. Anyways. Uh, when Kelly Ann's parents, Margaret and Thomas, met Smith, they were devastated at finding out the age difference. She was 16. He was 49. No. 49. That's awful. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. That's unacceptable. That's really bad. Okay. That I cannot, right? As a parent, that situation going on and me knowing about it, I don't know. Mm, no. Margaret Margaret said, quote, the first time I met him, he swaggered down the stairs and it made the hairs stand up on the back of my neck. I tried everything I could to get Kelly Ann away from him. Yeah. This poor mom. Yeah. You know, sometimes teenagers can be extremely retarded. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. And when she says swaggered down the steps, like, you know, how is that even? Was he like? Because he's playing this like macho man. Coming down the stairs like Reggie Cray or something. Absolutely not. (laughs) <laughs> no, no, thank you. No, and not only that, I will post pictures of this man. Mm. Okay. He's not good looking, is he? Oh my God. <laughs> I look at pictures of this Kellyanne and I go, oh, honey, you are oh, stunning. No. You are mm. so pretty. What the actual fuck is going on? Why are you with this greasy? He looks so greasy. Oh, that's nasty. Right? He has the trending glasses I have on today. Wow. You know, it's a pattern and I'll live with it for the rest of my life, right? Mm-hmm. No, I am not a serial killer, but man, they love these glasses. I yeah. like them. <laughs> I feel exposed. <laughs> Kelly managed to leave Smith uh, briefly because of arguments she had with him, but she was once more living with him at uh fern fernville road Mm. by the end of november 1995 okay so we're in the 90s we are loving life in the night i love yeah i love the 90s yeah 90s were good her parents noticed bruises on her which she exclaimed away as being the result of accidents she became withdrawn and in december 1995 she quit her part-time job In March 1996, her parents started receiving cards from Kellyanne for their anniversary and a birthday, but only Smith had written in them. Wow. When Kellyanne's brother tried to see her at the house, Smith would say she was not at home. So She already did. The red flags here are mm. are extreme. Yes. Right? Anyone in any type of situation like this, you know, look, it can happen to anybody. Mm. And Kellyanne was extremely uh, close with her family before, obviously before this, you know, mm. she wanted to be with her family. And it seemed once she was in his house under his control – You know, they couldn't see her. She wasn't calling. She wasn't writing. She, no one could come over to the house and see her, right? Like a hostage situation. A concerned neighbor asked after her and she was briefly shown at an upstairs window. An upstairs window, right? So Here's there's so many warning signs that I I struggle with in this story because I think oh if only you paid mm. attention mm. and that's wrong. Yes, you know it what is. I mean. Why yeah. are you showing your girlfriend, your wife, or anyone by only allowing them to wave from an upstairs window? Yes. Sometimes when I think about when you look at stories like this and there's so many, like you say, red flags and warning signs that I would like to think that at some point, obviously, unfortunately, some it doesn't happen all the time. But at some point you would hope that somebody would be like, oh, shit, that's not normal. I need to ring the police. But people just don't. I don't know why. Well, well, it's a fear factor as well. Mm. Right. This person has been 
you know, emotionally abusing you, physically abusing you, mm. you know, we don't know about, you know, the amount of things that are happening. Her mental state isn't going to be clear. No. Because no. she's trying to survive. Mm. Right. Yeah, it, it's, it's such a weird catch 22 situation mm. and it's, it is fear that, that mm. gets women or anyone stuck in this situation. Yes. After the abuse continued and on the 16th of April, 1996, only a month later, Smith reported to the authorities that he had accidentally killed his girlfriend during an argument in a bathtub. I'm just going to look at you and blink right now. Wow. An accident. Accidentally. Accidentally. Yeah. Accidentally held her under the water until she couldn't breathe anymore. It, it, this is it. Right. He claimed that she had inhaled water and died following his attempts of resuscitation. He also claimed that she often pretended to be unconscious. So you're telling me that your your girlfriend pretends to act like she's unconscious. He has such a huge mental problem because people don't act like that. No, people don't act like that. Normal people do not hit and strangle your girlfriend and then turn around and be like, oh, look, they're playing. No, look, who did that? You know, I can be a very angry human being, <laughs> as we know. <laughs> but that is another level of psycho, like narcissistic, psychopathic, mm. sociopath, where he completely yeah. disassociates himself yes. from what he's actually doing. Yeah, that's crazy. Disgusting. He has something missing upstairs in his brain. 100% or yes, you need to be is. put down like a bad yes. dog. I'm yes. sorry. Mm. Uh, sorry if that's a bit harsh, everyone. <laughs> Police went to Smith's address and found Bates, Kelly, mm. uh, naked. I hate this naked body in the bathroom. Her blood was found throughout the house during the last month of her life. She had been kept bound, sometimes tied to a radiator or mm. furniture by her hair, other times by her neck using a ligature. So this has been her life. That's so right? sad. That's incredibly sad. With, with this man for only, what, a year and a bit or even a couple of months, really, because it went from 1995, really, to 1996, right? There's not oh, okay. a huge gap here. No, no, it's, no. They weren't together for long. No, no, no. And to find her blood throughout the house, dude. Like, it's yeah. everywhere throughout the house. So she, he was hurting her in all the rooms of that house in every way, shape, or form that you could possibly think of. This has nothing to do with the bathtub. You know no, what I no. mean? Yeah. Right? You know straight away as a police officer and as an investigator, when you walk in to a crime scene like that, that is not, oh, my, my girlfriend and I had a fight in the bathroom and that's why she's dead. When you are walking into just like carnage, mm. it's carnage everywhere right mm. if she was tied up by her hair i mean hair fragments are going to be everywhere everywhere yes they will be yeah. And the smell is going to be bad it's going to be bad i'm so sad she's so young so young she this girl is mm. well by this 16 17 right 17. Mm. this girl is too young to be mm. exposed to this amount of violence by a man. I yeah. can't even say it. Yes. <sighs> I don't Dumb. have issues. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sh so let's get back to, unfortunately, Kellyanne's uh, situation. 
Her eyes had been removed no less than five days and not more than three weeks before her death. She was starved. She lost around 20 kilograms, which is 44 pounds, okay, in weight. 44 pounds this girl's lost. She had received no water for several several days before her death also. No mm. water, nothing. Nothing. A pathologist did a post a postmortem examination and mm. revealed over 150 injuries on her body. 150, bro. That's I'm sorry. Insane. Did you say 150 injuries? I couldn't with this this no, week. No. That's that's like she was he tortured her. He This is pure torture. torture. Yeah. He absolutely tortured her. That's disgusting. Absolutely. It's, it's horrific. Yeah. It is absolutely horrific and there is no need. No, none. You're going to be angry with someone? Or mm. you're going to be upset if this girl wants to leave you, you misogynistic, horrible, like he needs to go. Yes. And this man's still alive. It's a See, shame, isn't it? Well, a shame. Okay. Yeah. But let's go ahead and get more angry when I okay. list out to you the amount of injuries Kellyanne Bates uh, okay. received from, from this thing. Yeah. Okay. Scalding to her buttocks and left leg, burns on her thigh caused by application of a hot iron, a fractured arm, multiple stab wounds caused by knives, forks, and scissors, stab wounds inside her mouth, inside her mouth, okay, crush injuries to both hands, Manipulation of her ears, nose, eyebrows, mouth, lips, and genitalia. Wounds caused by a spade and a pr like pruning shears. Mm. Both eyes were gouged out. Gouged out. Later, stab wounds to the empty eye sockets. Wow. The empty eye sockets. You're a sick fuck. That's uh, also, partial scalping. He this this motherfucker, this motherfucker tried to scalp this woman. Wow. He that's yeah. yeah. When I mean this, this person is the lowest scum. He really is. Mm. The cause of death was drowning, though. <laughs> After all of that. The cause of death for this woman was drowning. So she was alive for yeah. all of those things that I listed. See, alive. that's wow. She that is that was not, that's not humane. That is like there is no you can't come back from that. No, you to can't. Me. Yeah, no. No, you can't come back from that. No. So Smith denied murdering Kellyanne. He denied it. <laughs> He's insane. That is an insane man. No, that's a misogynistic, denied. horrible man is what this is. Uh, and claimed she would, and quote, put me through hell, winding me up. <laughs> well, yeah, no. He's, there's something missing upstairs in his head. That is an evil man, that is. As evil. Like, this is this is why, right? I'm going to say it. This is why mm. I am terrified. I don't know about anyone else out there. Okay. I am so scared of real life situations like this. Yes. More than paranormal, more than, you know, uh, things that aren't scientifically proven. I know that someone walked into this crime scene. Mm. And saw this poor woman on the floor in the bathroom mm. and went, holy mm. shit, what happened to you? Yes. And how awful for the first person to go in and see all of that stuff. You'd actually... have to have counseling for mm. years. Mm. You know, and this is this is in Manchester. This is in the UK only in the 90s that this happened, right? So yeah. 
this isn't that long ago. No, it's not. This is violent. Yeah. Yes. Like he has not been on the radar. Nothing. No. This is violent for him. Wow. He also said she had taunted him about his dead mother and she had a bad habit of hurting herself to make it look worse on him. <laughs> he, what wow. a narcissist. Shut mm -hmm. your fucking mouth. Yes. I am swearing a lot this morning. I do apologize, everyone. It's okay. <laughs> uh it does make me angry. Mm. You can't yeah. deny something like that. Don't do no, that. No, you can't. No, you can't. But then this is this is the same pattern for anybody that is that way inclined. You know, you have nine times out of ten, they will make you think that it's your fault. They want the authorities to believe that they were the victim and that they are completely innocent and they did it because it was a protection thing for themselves. They yeah. like to play the victim when they're immensely well, so far from being that. Exactly. And we're right back at the, you know, oh, but it was her fault. She taunted mm. me. Mm. Mm. I can't help but talk my head. <laughs> <laughs> How these officers sat this man down mm. in that in that interview room mm. and said, what happened? And he said, I don't know. She's just winding me up. <laughs> yeah. They would like to, to have to sit and listen to that, knowing that he's full well lying. But you have to sit there and listen to it. It must be really difficult. Because if I'd want to reach over the table and punch him, it like murder him, punch him or do something. Because to listen to that whole story, however long it goes on for. I mean, some murderers, when they're in the, the interview rooms, they're in there for days, talking about how innocent they are for days. Days, like, dude. Mm. And you, they have walked into the scene. Literally, this is quick. <laughs> mm. Mm. He walked in there saying that she was, you know, oh, it's an accident. Don't know what happened, right? He didn't yeah. clean anything up for the last no. month. No. Yeah, no. It's, yeah, it, it, oh, it does make me, ugh, it makes me mm. grossed out. And I do want to reach over the table and gouge his eyes out. <laughs> yes, that would be a thing. Yes. Uh, when asked to explain why he had blinded, stabbed, and beaten Kellyanne, he said she had dared him to do it. Right now we're on another one, right? We're on another uh, excuse. Dared uh. him to do it challenging him to do her harm a psychiatrist told the court that smith had a severe paranoid paranoid disorder with morbid jealousy and lived in a distorted reality of course he did of course of course you can't this man cannot sit there mm -mm. and say this was an accident without mm. um you know, without having a distorted reality, right? Well, this is it. Yeah, he's de disturbed. That is a, yeah. Like, Absolutely. put him away for life. Yeah. He has no idea what he, like, he knows what he's done. Oh, he knows what he's he done. He knows right from wrong. Mm. But you cannot keep denying it, right, no. Ron? She taunted me. She, yeah. like, you know, she tortured me and she was winding mm. me up and mm. she dared me. She, like, you know, she challenged me to harm her. Like, what? What are you talking yeah. about? Insane. Liar. Liar. Exactly. Liar. Just a yeah. liar, right? Yeah. He also had previous history of abuse against women. Oh, okay. surprise. <laughs> of, course. of course. Surprise, surprise. This man Must. has a history of it. Of course. There should be no history of it. This is this is th this is where this is the thing that get this is the thing that gets me is that when you when there is abuse people should be need to be watched. They need to have a list. You know, they have it for child child molesters. They have it a list. If you are done for domestic abuse or any violence towards a woman or a man, because it's not just women, 
Some nope. men also experience domestic violence. Exactly. There should be a list and your name should be on that list. And if you come up more than once, I'm sorry, sir, or madam, because women can do the same thing. You need to be put somewhere. Yeah. Prison Tasha, cell block H yeah. outside. Walk yeah. Away, throw, yeah. Like walk them away, throw away yeah. the key. See you later. Yeah. Bye. Right. Yes. Now listen to the amount oh, of abuse no. that man has against women. Okay? okay. Right. His history. Yes. So James Smith was an unemployed divorcee living in uh, the Gorton area of Manchester. Before meeting Kellyanne, he was described by acquaintances as being house proud and well groomed. I say that laughing because his mm. pictures, he's a horrible looking person. Mm. He was a teetotaler and non smoker. His marriage ended in 1980 after 10 years because he was violent towards his wife. Yeah. His next relationship was a 20 year old named Tina Watson. So between 1980 and 1982, mm. he used to use her like a punch bag. What? Honestly, Could how you awful. Imagine. This is That's two awful. years of this woman's life. You've wasted mouth breather. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. He even subjected her to severe beatings while she was pregnant with his child. Kill him. That's Kill him. Terrible. Sorry. <laughs> That's awful. Who has, like, what behavior is this? Mm. Mm. This is not normal behavior no. for, for a human being. And if yeah. you think this is normal and you're listening to this going, oh, I do this all the time, right? Go and please get some help right now. <laughs> go to a counselor. Go to a psychiatrist. Go, go get on medication. Okay. Something. Yes. Medication is key for you. <laughs> <laughs> Tina said... At first, it was now and again, just a little tap. But in the end, it was every day. He would smack me in the face or hit me over the head with an ashtray. He would kick me in the legs and in between the legs. Wow. How, Tina. That's awful. Tina. Get out. I'd rather live on the street. I'm sorry. Yes. I, look, I would rather go. And I know, but I'm figure sometimes, out what happens. Like it's you said scary. before. Yeah, but sometimes, like you said before, it's not easy to leave. No, it's sometimes it's not. it's not easy to leave. And this so is so can't. violent that mm. the fear factor, it, it mm. it's real. Yeah, it is real. Yeah. Smith had also attempted to drown her while she was bathing. Okay, so we have like Drowning, similar yeah. situations mm. happening, right? Hmm. Tina managed to escape from the relationship. When that relationship came to an end in 1992, Smith then started seeing a 15 year old. A 15 year old. He's sorry. Yeah. Her name was uh, Wendy M Moderson. I'm sorry if okay. I got that wrong. Who had also, he had also abused, right? So yeah. even the 15 year old. In one attack, he had held her head underwater in the kitchen sink in an attempt to drown her. Right. There is so many situations here where, to me, they should not be ignored. No. You're trying to drown a woman. Not once, not twice. Now, no. like, now it's happened. Now he's done it. Yeah. Right. Um, but he's had no consequences for Any how of it. many years? It's a long time. Then in 1996, he was able to follow through, obviously, with Kellyanne Bates, right? So it, the the pattern here is severe because mm. he went to the nth degree. Yes. To kill this woman and torture this woman because he's had no consequences to say, mm. hey, just because you're a man does not mean mm. you can put your hands on a woman. What did your yeah. mama teach you? Yes. <laughs> well, this is it. 
This is exactly where is your mama is where I, what I want to know. <laughs> yes. Well, she died. Didn't she die? So no mama. No, I don't know. I didn't want to look into his life. I can care less oh. about his life. His life oh, is a okay. waste of space for me. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't even matter to me. It only took one hour to find 49-year-old James Smith guilty of Kelly Ann Bates' murder. Of course, yes. Obviously. Yeah, quick. He was sentenced to life imprisonment with a mm. minimum term of 20 years. Wow. That's not enough. No, it's not enough. That no, not. is not enough time. Minimum term? What was the maximum? What was his full sentence? Uh sentenced to life imprisonment but the minimum okay. is 20 years okay no one's so, gonna give him parole after 20 years that's a, look <laughs> i'm hoping hope he stays in there but i yeah. hope that he's in there forever is what i yes. hope i'm gonna yes. sneeze i'm sorry oh okay no, oh i fine. can feel it oh no it's oh fine. Dear. It's gone. okay oh i said it out loud you know when i say it it goes away <laughs> disappears uh, <laughs> the judge stated this has been a terrible case and a catalog of depravity by one mm. human being upon another. You yes. are a highly dangerous person. You are an abuser of women. And mm. I intend so far as it is in my power that you will mm. abuse no more. How powerful is that? That's a good, yeah, that's a, yes. I think for the judges as well, when they're, they must just, I saw a video of a judge giving a, a similar kind of sentence to somebody and giving a similar kind of speech to another uh, another guy that had done something to a teenager and she was almost in tears. So a judge having to do that, like it must just hit all these people. It, the reality of it is just... Also, yeah, jobs are being, tough. being a, a, a juror for this case mm. and the mm. pictures and mm. seeing her body the way that it was yeah. would have been uh, horrific. And mm. reading some of the things they did have to go and get counseling after they were, yeah. it was traumatizing. Yes. Yeah. Especially for the UK, right? Mm. You know, that yeah. is up in Manchester. Mm. Yeah. You always think you're safe in a place, right? Oh, yeah, always. Yes. But you're not. No. And no. which is why you should be prepared, everyone. <laughs> this is why we well, do Twisted Chamber. I'm this kidding. is why um, give everyone the information. <laughs> uh, so speaking about information to give, Tash, mm. right? So anyone can be a victim of domestic abuse regardless of gender, age, ethnicity, religion, socioeconomic mm -hmm. status, sexuality, or background. If you believe that you are a victim of domestic abuse, please contact, right? This is, it's free, confidential support and advice is available to victims and their concerned family members or friends. So it's a 24 hours a day. It's open. Okay. I got this off of GovUK. Mm. All this information, you guys. Uh, so if anyone out there is experiencing something or you have a friend, a family member who is uh, being withheld from you, mm. right? There is a control happening. They're withdrawn. You're seeing signs. You're seeing bruises. Um, mm. So England, they have... Uh, Refuge National Domestic Abuse Helpline. Now, this one in England, I'll say, I don't know if we can say the number, but we can always post them, right? Can I say the number? Yeah, you can say the phone number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say oh, the okay. Phone so it's a 0808-2000-247, right? So that is the England number for domestic abuse. There's also Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and there's a uh, UK wide one. This is a, a separate one. The men's advice line run by respect is a confidential helpline specifically for male victims as well. Oh. So, you know, if you are male and you don't know what to do, right, there mm. is a stigma with that for no stupid reason. Go on, mm. go online, go and get help. Yes. Yeah, there's help available out there for, you know, even if you're not in the UK, wherever you're listening to the podcast, please, if you are in any trouble at all, 
go online. There's phone numbers available. And I know there's helplines available all over the place. So there is help. And there there are also uh, in in all counties in the UK, it's it is pretty good. They are like there's local domestic violence abuse hotlines that you can mm. call in your local area to get away. So please do it. Yes. You know? Yeah. Uh, because it will only end, it will only end badly. It never ends yeah. well. Yes. One hit is enough. One hit is enough. Yes. One hit is enough. Yes. And remember that. <laughs> yes. One hit is enough. Yes, it is. You know, yeah. you have to be safe. Always. You have to be safe and I have to look out and know that you're not by yourself and it's not shameful or anything like that. Yes. Like literally it, it it's fine to call for help. It's fine to ask for help. Um, because, you know, and you're not alone, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. there are so many people out there that have been uh, abused mentally or emotionally mm. and they're all here to help each other. Yes. So don't ever so. think that you are alone in any situation. There's always help. Mm. And it's always better on the other side, isn't it, Tash? Yes, it's always, <laughs> yes, it is always better on the other side. But what I'll do is um, when we post, I will make sure that we post the information so that if anybody is looking for anything, yeah. the information will be available for you to see so that you can have a little look. This is it. But yeah. Yes. You know, just so that... You know, I couldn't I couldn't tell that story today mm. without um, being very hyper aware that this happens every day, every day, um, maybe not as horrific as poor Kelly Ann experienced as I mess with my fringe, um, mm. you know, but it shouldn't happen once. No. And don't ever let it happen again. No, exactly <laughs> that. Yes. Yes. You Twice know, so is too many. Once is too many. Once twice, is enough, and once, once is gonna get you a stab wound from me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't come at me. <laughs> don't come at me. I'm scarier than you. Is what the thing is. Okay. Oh, yeah, yes. I'm a oh. crazy bitch. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you. Right. That happened to me. Right. And, and let's go ahead and be personal, shall we? On Twisted Chamber. I'm going to tell you a little story, kids. <laughs> <laughs> tell you a little story about myself, right? Especially with Kellyanne, right? I never dealt with that amount of shit. <laughs> no way. But when I was younger and I was a teenager and I thought I was in love, right? I love that. Do you mm. love that, Tash? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh Someone decided uh, during an argument to rip me around in a circle from the back of my arm and throw me up against the wall and get my face. Oh, wow. It did not end well for him. Let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, once is enough. Exactly once, that. Once and done. Bye-bye. Once and done. Exactly that. Yes. Oh, dear. Well, it's such a sad story. I did write some notes. Okay, good. Tell me. So, um, what was I? Uh, so the other girls before Kelly. Yes. Uh, did they report anything to the police? Or was no. It, they never reported it to the police. They never reported it to the police, which is why okay. he was not on the radar at all. On the radar. That's so sad. That's so sad. Like, you know, if only one reported. of them yeah. would have called because yeah. he tried to drown her, it yeah. would have flagged up. So yeah. that when, um, obviously, Margaret, Kelly's mom, mm. Mm. she could have called in. And, and she did, there are, it it was said that she did call the police. Okay. Uh, but there was nothing that they could do. And because mm. Kellyanne was 16, 17 at that time. Yes. She was an adult. She could okay. make her own decision. Yes, so there was nothing flagging up James mm -mm. Smith for uh, previous domestic violence abuse. Mm. Okay. Wow. So this should be, yes, that's sad that they reported, didn't report. Mm. Um, uh, my question is with all these things, with all these evil people, uh, did you 
did you briefly read anything about his upbringing? Because I'm wondering whether he was abused, whether he had any kind of childhood trauma that could that could make me think or talk about whether this was nature versus nurture. Because right now I'm thinking that he was born bad. This uh, is a well, born bad. Look. I'm at a point, right, where I yep. was reading the story and went, I don't yep. want to know anything about you. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I might have a little look later. Because I then. don't, you could have, you guys out there, look, you know, I'll, I'll look it up. And once mm. we post this episode, I'll put it on the Instagram and mm. I'll, we'll make the assumption of, yeah, he was abused or not. Uh, okay. But personally, for me, yeah. researching this story i always like to do this from the victim's point of view oh, okay instead yeah. of just this dirt bag because i don't yeah. think that he we should be talking about his upbringing i understand okay. trying to understand yes why but i don't think anyone could understand why of what he did other than okay. he he had a distorted reality yes and he was a paranoid like a paranoid yeah. The psychologist obviously gave him what was it? Let me look at um, look it up. What was, what was it? it? Paranoid, paranoid uh, some disorder or something, wasn't it? Personality something. Oh, I can't even. Paranoid. I can't remember. Oh, that's bad. I can't remember either. But and I'm trying to look for it, and I'm really slow. Uh, sorry. Here we go. A severe paranoid disorder with morbid go. jealousy. So I don't yeah. know where that scales for a psychologist but mm. obviously he was nuts right he was nuts yes yes the guy so was I'm nuts always, yeah so i'm always intrigued because obviously there is that whole nature versus nurture thing so i it always intrigues me to find to know if they had a really awful upbringing or anything like that that can say yes his upbringing was really bad and this made him this monster or no, he was living at home with his parents in a two bedroom house. He had a bike. He had all the best toys in the whole wide world. And he's just an evil creature monster. Yes. <laughs> and and I, I like to go on to the thing of, yeah, he's just an evil monster because he chose what he wanted to do that day. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. There's that he, to it, he too. He made that choice. Yes. Um, there is that to it, too. Yes. So, yeah. But, you know... I, Many. It's a it is a hard one though because yeah. you know what is what he did before. Yes. Okay, he He's, could have been charged for something, but these women are so yeah. scared of this man. Mm. Yeah, he definitely they feel had like they can't do anything. Yeah, no, he definitely had grooming tendencies in terms of he was a he was definitely a predator. Now those other yes. women that escaped from him, whether they left in a hurry in the night whether they fought back at some point whether they just disappeared like they obviously he was unable to to hold them down enough to actually get to the point where he was killing them but i do feel like he was working as with most sick people that do things like this it starts off small and then they work their way up to the point where they then eventually murder somebody so and this he is had it right because it starts out things. with with it was only a hit now and again, like what Tina yeah. said, right? Yes. It was only, you know, not that much. And then it can, mm. it, it got worse, right? Because yeah. once they get away with that number one hit, yeah. it gets worse and worse and worse, right? The pattern gets bigger, you know, yeah. you get uh, more injuries, yes. the attacks are always extra severe right yeah you know now yeah. i've looked on wikipedia right yeah and i've gone on google to see what his life was they do mm. not really talk about his life i'll try to okay. look around more um and post Sorry, it's just, it for you guys it's my it's my curiosity because i'm i'm a uh nature uh advocate for people are born bad <laughs> You know I am. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think he even needs that. I just think he's a psychopath okay. that needs to be put down. <laughs> yeah, but in a, I just, some people are born, not saying it's excusable. I'm not saying that it's an excusable thing. No. 
but I just think that psychologically, like I love psycholog- psychology and the psychological yes. side of, of all of this for me is fascinating because I would really want to know that side of things. But yes. think, right, and think mm. for a second, and I mean this, okay, mm. this happens all the time. All Do you the know time. There, the amount of people that treat their partner, their wife, their ex-girlfriend, or their girlfriend, I'm sorry, or boyfriend, they, they do this. Yes. When yes. you get angry, what, you hit someone? Oh, mm. honey, right? Yeah, no. Were you not spanked enough as a child? I don't get it. Mm. Mm. I don't get it, right? Because you learn that as a child when you mm. get angry – you don't hit mm. someone, right? No. So why are you throwing a tenter tantrum like a mm. little kid <laughs> mm. hitting and abusing a woman? Mm. Nah. No. No, not at all. Yeah, and you would think, I mean, some people who as children when they are in a bad environment growing up, they take it upon themselves to decide that that is not how they're going to bring their children up. And yeah. some people have that thing and some people don't so it's to me I'm a bit like hmm, why do some people have that and others don't what what switch is that in their minds oh and this you know? is the mystery right let's be yes. honest yeah yeah because it's mystery, we, yes. we can sit here and we can read all of these horrible stories about mm. how humans treat other humans right and mm. it's going to be until the dawn of fucking time right yeah, yeah. oh of course it is because yeah. there are too many mouth breathers on this planet to understand mm. that treating another human with respect is what you should be doing, right? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Because it makes no sense. Mm. And if you can't treat someone with respect, I'm I, like, I don't true. get it. No. Remote island for you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> you can all unrespect each other on the island of unrespectful people. That's yeah. where you go. <laughs> You know, you want to go and and run around and kill everyone because you're mm. angry, right? Mm. You go ahead and do it. You do it on an island yeah. far away where yeah. you can't come off. Mm. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was awful for this morning. Poor, poor it, girl and her family. It, That's, yeah, sad situation. Yeah, her, you know, a horrible thing to happen to your mm. teenage daughter while mm. – but look, look, I'm not here to judge anyone and anyone's parenting skills because mm. at the end of the day, she was a teenager. She's going to do what she sure. wants to do, right? Oh, of course. Yes, of course. Um, I mm. I, w- I would have killed someone. <laughs> well, this is it. This is it. And, yeah, like I you think- better believe if, mm. my, if I ever had a child – Mm. And a 17-year-old one at that that walked in mm. with some 50-year-old man. Mm-hmm, that's not I'm happening. getting the baseball bat and I'm going to beat your ass yeah. outside. <laughs> yeah, there is no way. That like, any there'd be no her, hello. <laughs> no. No, there would be no. There would be no hello. There would be no hello. And there would be no watching him swagger down the stairs. I'd be like, excuse me, you need to leave. Uh, or we get out of my house. Yes, yeah. exactly that. Yeah, get the There's hell no out way. of my house. I'm yeah, calling no. the pest control now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I just have. A, I'm on good standing hope that this is. If this ever happened to Wally and I's children when we have them, my my he will sort it out. I wouldn't even have to worry. <laughs> well, that's nice. <laughs> yes, that's nice because it would yeah. be me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, I Wally. Oh my God, he just wouldn't even like. There wouldn't even be a thing. The guy no. would take one look at Wally and be like, "Right, I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go, go this go. way." <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that didn't work out the best. No, for me. no, we're not gonna mess with this family. No, you're not. <laughs> no. Yeah. So yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, so poor Kellyanne. I hope that she rests in peace now. Yes, hopefully bless she's her, Bless her little with, heart up there yeah. that had to go through horrific, disgusting yeah. things by a man. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. No. <laughs> no, I know. 
yes. it does make me angry for this morning. It really does. So, yeah, but I hope everyone enjoyed that story and I hope it's given people out there some awareness, mm. um, that it can happen to anyone and, and do not ignore your red flags people. No, no trust your gut. If it doesn't feel right, it's not right. This is it. Yeah. You know, yeah. your intuition will guide you more than you know. Yeah, exactly that. Yes, exactly And just that. let it. Yes, exactly. So uh, as I said, we will put all the information, the phone numbers that Kat gave, uh, we'll put those on our social media, which is at Twisted Chamber. And all the social medias, just type Twisted Chamber in and you will see us. That's where we live. <laughs> That's where we live, guys. Yes. Wow. And then we have it. Uh, well, not all. No, we're not in a computer, just like... <laughs> We're in here. Oh We're my in, gosh. In it, in it. No, not at all. Uh, we have an email address, which is twistedchamber at yahoo.com. So if you uh, have any questions, any comments, if you need to reach out, you know, happy to receive any emails from people. So, you know, hit us up with anything really, stories and stuff, which is good. Yeah. 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 Do you have a domestic violence story? Please share it. Mm. with us uh so that we can uh expose the scum shall we <laughs> yeah <laughs> could be our new crime stopping um thing crime it stopping. should be because <laughs> it happens too much right it happens too much it does happen too much it yeah, really it really does it stresses me out mm. you know it happens yeah. too much for me to ignore the amount yeah. of these stories mm. there is a lot of them and there's a lot of them yeah which is the sad thing. Yes. It is sad. I know. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I hope everyone out there enjoyed it. Yep. Hopefully so. And we will, um, yeah, we'll have another episode next week. Uh, yes, we yep. will. Yes, what we are will. we talking about next week, bro? Do you want to know? Bro? We are going yeah. to be talking about near-death experiences. Wicked. <laughs> what, like a thousand ways to die? Did you ever watch that? No, I didn't watch that. No, I didn't. Oh, Actually, that is no, the yes, best I did. show. Yeah, no, I did watch it. I did watch it. No, I'm talking about people that have died and have seen things when they have died, what they have seen, stories that they've come back with. And I have to tell you, not all of them are good. Not all of them are good. Well, I didn't um, yeah. think they would be. But hey, if you're, I, look, <laughs> we all know what freaks me out. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I was like, as I was writing, I was like, this is so going to freak Kat out, especially with some of the stories that I have about Shit. the near-death experiences, because they're, I just, yeah, tune in for next week to find out why I'm going to freak Kat out. But also, I kind of freaked myself out a little bit, and I'm I'm okay. Like, generally, I'm all right with things like that, but not, no. Some of it was all nice for me. I don't. I re I'm really scared to know, but I watched that thing on Netflix. I, I can't remember what it was yeah. called, but that was, that was nice. That was lovely. Uh. That was lovely. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. With the things that we talk about, I always think, oh my God, if I died in the car today, <laughs> what the hell would I see? You know, I always think it would be lovely to see the bright white light, but not everybody sees that. And what some people see is absolutely horrific. Just going to leave that out there. I've yeah. I've watched I've watched a lot of things like that, though, dude. Mm. It really does freak me out. But I mm. the interest is there. Right. Mm. Yep. Yeah. You know, I don't really want to know, but I really want to <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that exactly that so yeah so that will be next week's episode so very exciting amazing yes. i cannot yeah. wait i cannot good, wait good. buddy good good right then guys enjoy the rest of your week uh we will uh let you go now but next time you might not be so lucky see Bye. ya